Welcome to A to Z Construction Channel. I am Shriram Benor. In this video, I am going to explain completely on how exactly ETC solar water heater works. Now, what is ETC? ETC is Evacuated Tube Collector. I am going to tell about how exactly it has been set up, how exactly it works, what is the maintenance and also the price of it. So, make sure you are going to watch till the end. So, let's get started. So, let me explain the components of this and then I am going to explain the working. So, this is a 20 litre uh, water tank. Okay, and then we have this uh, evacuated tube collectors. This is the frame on which the entire setup has been uh, mounted. Okay, so this entire setup has around uh, 16 tubes that are there. Now coming to tubes. So if you see, this is a two layer tube. Okay, so there is a one layer at the top, a glass layer and inside that there is a dark layer which is going to absorb the maximum heat and it is going to heat the water. Now in between that, there is a space or a gap right that is completely vacuum i'm sure you can see it right so there is a gap okay that layer is completely vacuum and in both the ends if you remove this pipe both the ends are completely covered so only gap is there for this tube but the first and the second layer are completely covered same is on the other side as well okay so if you see here we have some components here so let me explain what exactly is this you see the silver thing that is there now say for example over a period of time if there is going to be some air that is going to be collected inside this vacuum this component is going to make sure it is going to absorb that with the help of a chemical reaction or something like that and again it is going to be a uh, completely vacuum uh, one right so that's how it is always going to make sure there is complete vacuum inside this two tubes okay so that's how exactly that has been done on the other side as well it's completely closed so you can see this is how it has been uh, fixed and it's actually easy to remove and uh, replace as well if some damage happens to one of the tube uh, it can be just removed uh, after emptying the tank okay and the cost of this tube is roughly around 400 to 500 rupees or something like that service charge or if you want to replace it you can replace it manually as well by yourself why because it has been just connected with a simple mechanism where this tubes are just inserted inside and there is a washer that is going to run inside this uh, tank right and the moment you push it so there is no difficult mechanism it just uh, pulling it outside and pushing it inside to fix it and they have also put some washers here okay so that's how this tubes have been done now coming to the working of it how exactly this solar heater works and is it really efficient okay so let me explain everything so that you get a complete clarity so we have a overhead tank there okay and from that water is going to come from there it is going to move on the other side let me just show you that okay so this is the cold water uh, pipe that is going in and it is at the bottom it says inlet for cold water now here is one most important thing that you need to consider okay so this is one way wall that is connected to the inlet now what exactly this does so this makes sure water is only going inside and never the water is going to come out of the tank now why this is important now say for example okay uh, the water in this tank gets heated now the hot water always has a low density right that means it tries to come up right so in that case what happens if you don't put this one way wall it is going to push the hot water to this and it is going to go to the overhead tank as well so always make sure you have this one way wall that has been fixed to your uh, inlet wall that's a cold water uh, uh, connection that is there okay this is one of the most important thing that you need to consider now what happens if you don't do this if you don't do this though there might be bright sunlight outside you might get not so hot water because it is getting mixed with the uh, water in the overhead tank that's what happens okay now once the water insides, enters inside this so it is going to move through these tubes okay and it is going to fill these tubes and uh, when there is the sunlight it is going to heat the water as the water gets heated okay the hot water hot water moves up and the cold water starts coming uh, down why because as the density of the hot water will be less it just tries to move inside back up 
okay once it goes up again it tries to move to the top of it that's how there is going to be a complete water circulation that is going to happen inside this so when this happens for a couple of hours in the sunlight suddenly you are going to have a very hot water and uh, one thing to consider is see usually water gets heated in the daytime and we usually use it in the early morning right so that means usually on the next day so what has been done here is there is a thick layer of insulation that has been here okay which is surrounding the complete tank something like this which is a insulation okay and this insulation which runs the com in the complete tank it is going to make sure the heat is not lost during the entire uh, day or whenever we are going to use so even if you are using in the next day probably there might be a drop of only around 2 to 4 degrees centigrade right so it still makes sure that the insulation which is inside this uh, tank it is going to make sure the water is still hot without much loss that is going to happen in the uh, entire day so that's the beauty of it and these tubes these tubes run inside the insulation and go into the tank that's how exactly it makes sure the water is going to be pushed inside as well okay now this is how the complete process works so as i said again so the cold water that is there okay uh, the moment water gets heated up it just moves up like this once it moves up it comes to the top and again you also have the manufacturer uh, details here which says uh, you can see here right it says capacity has 200 liters right so manufactured uh, year okay so the details about your uh, instrument is going to be found on the label that is going to be put here okay so now let's move on the other side so here we have outlet hot water uh, outlet okay now as i mentioned since hot water is going to have less density it is always going to rise up right so it is going to rise up so and when uh, we turn on the tap uh, at the uh, while we are using maybe for shower or something the hot water from that uh, top layer is going to come inside from this pipe and it is going to be circulated to the uh, bathrooms which has been connected that's how it uh, works now also we have a valve here that has been fixed say that uh, if you want to turn off the supply uh, then we can certainly do that and same has been done for all the also the cold water so one more thing to understand here there is also one more uh, uh, section here it says a connecting diagram for backup now say for example in winters uh, where there is no proper sunlight or during rainy season where you don't see a uh, good amount of uh, sunshine in that case water is not going to be heated uh, much in this uh, tank because there is no much of uh, solar energy right so in that case you can also fix a heater so there are going to be a specific heater that are going to come uh, for uh, uh, this uh, tanks so certainly it can be fitted and it can be connected to the power supply and it can help you to make sure the water is getting heated inside the section and you can certainly uh, take that as a hot water for uh, your purpose now let me explain the advantage and disadvantage of uh, having this uh, section see say for example as i said in winters or in rainy season where you don't have proper sunlight certainly you can uh, put a coil here and this is uh, optional it does not uh, come pre-fitted if you want you can certainly uh, talk to you the dealers or uh, people who are going to set it up they can certainly fix this now once this has been fixed see understand this is a 200 capacity uh, water tank uh, right and uh, you might be going for uh, 200 liters or 150 liters that means when you insert this coil this coil needs to heat this entire 200 liters or 150 liters whatever the tank capacity is going to be that means it is going to consume lot of energy now instead of that if you are having say for example only couple of people in your home in that case you can have a separate uh, electric water heater in your room it is going to consume less energy and certainly you're going to get a really hot water from that as well so as per a lot of research and understanding from expert this is not a good advice to uh, set this up but of course you have an option for that as well now coming to the setup part one important thing that you always need to remember is so that's the air vent it should always be at a point which is higher than your overhead tank okay that's something that you need to ensure okay now coming to the price of this so this costed me around uh, 23 uh, around 23000 okay so i got it from vigard now certainly there are a lot of uh, 
other brands as well vgard is good supreme is good and i've also given the link of some of the best solar water heaters in the description you can certainly buy it from there okay now coming to the maintenance of it so one advantage with uh, the etc model or the evacuated tube model is if any damage happens to any of the tube right you just have to replace the single tube and it's going to cost anywhere around uh, say for example around uh, 500 to 800 or 1000 to replace along with the service charge where a person is going to come and replace this so that's the advantage with this now if you go with the uh, the older uh, solar water heaters which used to come something which had a panel like this where water used to run inside right so those kind of panels uh, the copper tubing whatever they would have done inside it might collect the residues of salt or uh, things like that right and it requires regular maintenance this does not have so much of maintenance to be done okay and certainly it can come for a long term as well and the best time to clean this uh, tubes is before sunrise or after 7 pm so that uh, when we are using uh, maybe a little bit of water or wet cloth it suddenly does not change the temperature of the tubes uh, which might affect their uh, proper working i believe this information was helpful for you to understand in detail if you like this video give a thumbs up if not give a thumbs down and if you like the information that was shared please do consider subscribing to it i also given a video in the info link on uh, how exactly this entire thing has been set up so you can watch that uh, installation video and uh, if you want to watch complete videos on house construction then just click on the info link to watch complete videos on the house construction the only channel to have complete end-to-end -end videos.